Hello, today is Monday, the 22nd day of July, 2013. My name is Derek. Very quick uh, chart update for today. Price action now last levels last seen from the middle part of this massive declining session. The open was pretty much where the bottom was. So it's up five and a half percent in what was like a 10 percent day down day back in June. We had this pattern where it went down, came up close to this level, established a higher low, barely made a higher high, once again establishing a higher low, and now all that has been done is a clear break of resistance. Therefore, this level of 2017, which was Recently, last resistance is now that of an area of support. If this area of 2017 fails to hold, then there will be a clear failed breakout. But for this bearish trend to end, as we can see this 18 moving average and the constant decline, well, we can see it's barely starting to rise higher. Therefore, you want to see this thing still go up a little bit higher as I'm doing it. The bull run is still playing out. Ideally, a move up to this level and then a pullback here or even a move up to the high 20s, low 21s. Pull back down to this level, maybe meet up within this 18 average band, thus making another higher low higher than this and in or around the area of previous resistance. And then, of course, challenge further areas. The trend line connecting here is still not uh, hit yet. Most likely will be soon. And that's just another level to look out for. Now, about a week uh, ago or so, I was talking about this dollar index chart. Well, it's now down to this area in here in the low 82s. But the whole point of what I wanted to state in here was you have this clear breakout here and this clear breakdown here. When I look at this and I'm looking at a failed breakout or breakdown and because of the number of periods that it took to get from here to here and from here to here it could play out later on august september october when you see if this looks like the failed breakout thus breaking down below this low then that's a good indication that we will most likely be probably around 24 dollars silver if it's down here 23 and maybe down in here at 80 25 dollars silver and that it probably will even continue to go higher. On the contrary, as I stated, we are down in here. So you come up, make a higher low, maybe come up above here. There's your failed breakdown. And then maybe we'll see $17 silver as the rally that we are seeing doesn't necessarily mean that this bear market is over just that we are getting productive signs as far as chart analysis is concerned that the run that started last fall on the QE infinity highs at around $37, $35 an ounce silver may be over and a new intermediate run that usually lasts two to three months, sometimes longer, and this one was nine months, could be starting. So I'd like to thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great week. Bye-bye.